Hello, and welcome to Punk Rock Tabletop. Today, I'm talking about one of my favorite tabletop card games of all time, Flux. Flux is a 2-6 to six player card game released in 2002 by Looney Labs Incorporated. The basic rules of the game are very, very simple. The rules entirely consist of, at the beginning of your turn, draw one card off of the draw deck. You play one card from your hand on top of the table, and it is then the next player's turn. And that is right, there is no way built into the basic rules to win the game. Flux is referencing the continuous fluctuation of the game rules, where you kind of have to create goals, or you literally have to play goal cards in order to win the game. More on this a little bit later. The game setup is, um, again, grab two or three of your friends. Really, the more people you have to play, the more fun it's going to be. Shuffle up the deck, and every player is dealt three cards that consist their opening hand. The different types of the cards different types of cards in the game are primarily new rule cards. These change the way that the basic rules operate. These include drawing more cards per turn, being allowed to play more cards per turn, maybe even setting up hand limits where you can only have between five to zero cards in your hand by the end of your turn. Another card type is keepers. These are objects that are placed in front of you and they're Certain mix or match of them are required to meet certain goal conditions. Might as well go over the goals. These are the special type of rules card. They can only be one type of goal out at a time. And they state where if they typically have a pair of keepers printed on them. Whatever player at any point has those two keepers in front of them immediately wins the game. There's no end of turn check, beginning of turn check, or anything like that. If at any point a goal is out and the player has those keepers, they win the game. The last type of card is the action card. These are kind of blue down the side and they just do whatever the card says, whether it be reshuffle the discard deck into the draw deck, steal a keeper, draw more cards and play more cards, just do what the action card says and move on with your life. The speed of the game, again, fluctuates. I've had games last two minutes where the first person just had an incredibly lucky opening hand. I've also played games where I think the longest game of Flux I've ever played took us about an hour to finally get a win condition out on somebody. Which to me is one of the fun aspects of this game. It's one that you can pull out and play a couple of quick games, or if the game goes long, move on to something else. The game is just simply packed with fun. The rules literally change with every turn. You might start out the game drawing one card, playing one card. By the time the play gets back around to you, you could be drawing seven cards, playing every card in your hand, and have a zero hand size limit. And within that is some of the strategy. If you get a particular series of keepers and action cards in your hand, it sort of becomes this little strategy game of how can I win the game on this turn playing these cards right. But with that, you can only really make short-term plans because you are not able to tell what the rules are going to be or if the win condition will change or stay the same by the time the turn gets back around to you. Which also, because of these ever-changing rules, actually makes it possible for new players to join in in the game at any time. Just have them sit down, deal them a hand of three cards, and they're now next in turn or wherever they happen to be when they sit at your table. Also, Looney Labs is very open at having people add their own cards to the game. You can order semi-finished cards with pretty much nothing on the front, where you can just grab a Sharpie and create your own new rules, action cards, or keepers. And if that's not enough for you, Flux, at this point, it is a 13-year-old game this year, has got many different variations with some slight rules changes. I've personally played the Monty Python one, which was pretty fun. My favorite spinoff of the original Flux, though, might be the Space Flux, where certain keepers are members of the crew of a starship and inter literally interact with each other, which did kind of create for longer games and more strategic games. But for just the base fun, the default one that I'd pull out whenever I've got friends over is just the basic Flux. It's very, very easy to get into and get caught up in. I had a friend over once a couple of years ago, and I decided to show the game to him. I said, hey man, let's play a quick game of Flux. That way, if you like, you can get your own copy. The dude was moving out of state in a couple of months. Pulled the game out, showed him the basic rules. Four hours later was when he finally left. At the end of each game was, dude, that was fun, let's do it again. Dude, that was fun, let's do it again. 
and I was down for it. Something about Flux keeps me constantly playing. At some points, it's gotten almost as bad as my Diablo 3 addiction. Well, when it comes to Flux, that's all I've got for you this week. Be sure to head over to www.theculturecash.com, your one-stop shop, the culture that matters to you. While you're there, feel free to click on that donate link. We've got it there for a reason. And until next time, I remind you, keep your world continuously in flux.